Hi everyone, welcome to Business. My name is Daryl Kwa. Major global oil producers are set to meet later today to agree on production cuts. The failure by OPEC to agree cuts in March triggered a slump in oil prices. Already, oil prices have risen on expectations of an agreement to counter the slump in demand caused by coronavirus lockdowns. Raymond Nuokpo is an analyst with the Institute for Energy Security and he has been explaining to me why Ghana should be concerned. We are expecting a 10 million barrel per day cut from the whole meeting. So we are expecting those countries that are part of the OPEC plus to agree to a 10 million barrel per day cut. And also we are expecting those countries that are part of G20 to also have an agreement for a production cut. So we have the likes of Canada and USA. For the USA, in the next three months, they are going to have a, a production cut of about 4 million barrels per day. So, so if we add the 4 million barrels per day to the 10 million barrels per day that is supposed to agree on today, that's going to be about 14 million barrels per day, mm. which is good to stabilize the market and also increase the good oil prices. Therefore, those countries like Algeria, Nigeria, and even Ghana that are crying because of the shortfall of revenue, they may start getting some increased marginal revenue from the oil uh, and, and Raymond, my last question to you will be, why should we be concerned here in Ghana what that, the outcome of that meeting will be? Because at the beginning of the year, we projected that our oil revenue, uh, we benchmark our selling of power by 52, and prices are now down to 25, 26. So if this meeting is successful, it will increase prices to about 30, going to 40, meaning our revenue will go up. So it's very important for Ghana. Not that need money to cushion the economy.